so let's see i'm receptive so this is yielding um maybe a, a principle an old principle you had maybe some sort of uh, moral seeing things different okay um and then treading so really being self-aware of where you're going how you're acting your behavior maybe observing other people's behavior as well and then um obstacles so like maybe you had to make um an abrupt stop because of an obstacle or something that caused fr frustration or difficulties and and then you have um the cauldron which is about healing your inner spirit um really taking charge with your spirituality learning new things is pretty much what that means so the other ones that uh, flipped over as well was revolution and this is about transforming um like a radical change uh giving up on the old to make way for the new uh it's it's clarified by quantum leap so um modesty moderation humility keeping it simple lack of per pretension self-respect and then splitting apart so let's take a look and see what those mean for you before i put them out because they sort of all jumped up at the same time and just sort of funny but let's see i hope you guys are doing well welcome guys what is card 49 revolution this is uh maybe very quickly oh my god and it's clarified with the tower um and the tower in reverse so maybe this is something that you're ready to let go of um maybe had a hard time like letting go of because it's in reverse what is the tower in reverse just curious what is the tower so um knight of wands finding some kind of passion maybe it's taken you a long time because this is a fast radical change but yet it was something that maybe in the past you held on to okay so modesty what is modesty and this is about self-respect uh um being sincere and respectable respectability maybe that's the change you're, you're somewhat wanting that those kind of things you know um that's what i feel here let's see here so the world and the world is also in reverse which is funny because everything was upright before it started shuffling um and I, I definitely do feel like this is maybe something that's it's immediate because there's been such a long time waiting for things to change maybe you haven't seen things in the past and now you start to see them splitting apart so there's something coming coming apart letting go surrendering um and definitely the world wow and this one came up right so there's new cycles coming in for you. Maybe you're feeling them. There's a sense of urgency, a sense of, um, but happy that you want to make changes is what I feel here. So very interesting. Something that maybe you had um, held on to a long time ago for a long time. Now you're realizing it's not really what you want. And that's okay because that happens. We don't, you know, people get really stuck in staying in the same place when they're unhappy. It's a rut. It's no good. Um, so let's see, what is receptive? This is about changing, being receptive so that you can yield profits, you know, devoted, being patient. What does this mean? This also has a meaning of mother, um, earthly, okay, mother earth perhaps. Let's see here. You have the, the nave of pentacles, so receiving some sort of message, um, four of cups, and the queen of swords this to me is like getting a message of not being interested in somebody maybe a message that you're getting for yourself that you're not interested in a situation any longer or someone not being interested in a person um something like this is what i feel here um what is the queen of swords could be a mother could be um i'm not sure someone in your family or maybe your your love interest but holy moly here's that here's here is that tower okay and i put it back upright okay so the tower the empress and the four of swords this is like it, it's just pretty much saying to me that someone is changing either their status to whom they're married to putting an end to it with the four of swords um and then this one right here let's see you got the justice, yes, look, the justice, 
and the hermit so there's a new path going on here um that's definitely what i'm seeing here if this isn't a relationship for you it, it's very much where it could be happening um for you for a job um something like that maybe something that you've just been stuck in whatever you've been devoted in i, I definitely do feel like it's coming to an end you've got the justice card that speaks about an ending and you got the four swords that is speaking about an ending as well oh sorry guys Roy system here puppy you can't do that don't do that so the hermit is telling you wh whoever this is for you or whether this is you you're being guided to go down a new path and maybe that's why you're getting this message maybe you're giving a message to something or someone that you're no longer interested you want to put an end to it okay and i feel because of the tower that came out in reverse in the beginning it's taken a lot of nerve or a lot of time for this person to make a change to even stand up to somebody and tell them it could be a mother it could be a wife um yeah i feel like you would know who that is for you but maybe you're standing up to your parent your mother your wife or maybe even your husband okay so there's definitely a sense of putting something to, to rest here um, I want to know, okay, what is the Empress? The Empress could be a really beautiful card, but it does represent being, you know, a marriage card. So that's, I immediately just thought wife, um, wife or mother, okay? And then you got the Six of Cups. So this is where I think what it feels like it's like you're, you're seeking happiness. You're seeking a new beginning. Um, it could be that you're leaving someone to start over with someone who is fruitful and someone who is passionate as far as um, like in a peaceful way is what I feel. Uh, someone who is peaceful, maybe that's who you're going towards. Maybe you're leaving, you're leaving um, a queen of swords per se for some sort of um, maybe a new person who, who brings you that abundance. Okay, but let's see. What is this treading on? Uh, treading. Self-awareness. Proceed with caution. Um, so you have the four wands. It, it's about a relationship you're treading on. Uh, as far as, like, maybe it's just very rocky. Um, there's a sense of having to act responsible and correct a behavior is what I feel here. Um, what is the four of wands? It definitely could be um, um, your home. This card could represent your home. What's going on in your home. Um, maybe wanting to, to break a, a partnership. Something like that. So you got the Knave of Wands. The Five of Cups. The Seven of Wands. The Devil. And the Sun. You want to heal from this. You want to heal from whatever the situation that is happening in your home. Um, could be with your partner. Could be with your mom. As we saw the wife and the mother card over here. Um, I, I feel like this is where you're you're definitely being driven by passion. By something new. Okay. I definitely feel like there is an end coming. Because there's been a lot of regrets. There's been a lot of sadness um, perhaps really not knowing how to get over the sadness. Um, so I do feel like this is where you're stepping up to the plate and fighting for something. Um, really making a change. I feel like this is where you're tuned in. You're making a change. Perhaps trying to end something that's very codependent. Uh, this is with the devil. There's uh, something that's not healthy. That maybe you're doing a lot of or maybe your your person is doing a lot of um there is a sense of just really being stuck in something negative okay and you want to heal from it you want to move you want growth you want to move away from being sad or depressed or just full of regrets and it's almost like you want to revert especially with the six of cups you want to revert to something that is happier um, and I don't feel you're getting it where you are, okay? Whether this is a job or a family uh, related. So <clears throat> the four of wands does ask 
you know, if you want to go into a different partnership, make sure that you're in a good place in this home. But with the five of cups and really needing and the, and the devil really needing to stand up and fight for something, I definitely do feel that there's a sense of needing to tread tread on water and almost like walking on eggshells um perhaps because you want this healed but it's not healing um and perhaps this has just been a long road for you where you've had some kind of ailment um with the double card uh whether it's like a sickness but i feel it's more of um like a bad attachment to somebody or um something that was very codependent on you or maybe um you them you know you have to take it as a resonance because it's, it's a general reading but that's not healthy the devil is not healthy and neither is the five of cups uh what is obstacles what is obstacles please obstacles for the viewer what does this mean now this could be you or this could be someone you know could be your lover okay um so the world the obstacles so this is where you want to leave difficulties you're ending difficulties you've had your share of roadblocks is what i feel there's a sense of um not wanting to feel hopeless anymore uh, uh what if it's a job that you've been struggling financially or something like this just there's a struggle that is very discouraging it's you want to put an end to it and the, the world is telling you now is the time to do it uh, with the tower in reverse earlier, I definitely felt like somebody might have fought not changing or not exposing their truth as far as what it is that they really desire and want rather than settling in, in a field of just frustration and difficulties um, and feeling hopeless, okay? So what is this new thing with the world? What's the new venture? So let's see you you temperance healing okay so very much healing very very much balancing out healing a heart a heartbreak and confusion so this is where the codependency has been where there's been either somebody um in a third party situation or in a very compromising situation where they're being controlled by someone else and it creates a big heartache um somewhat sad um, I definitely do feel that there is confusion here as well. So this could be someone who has latched onto you and they're very codependent on you. This could be you being codependent on somebody having a fear that you you can't do better without this person, okay? Um, but you can see here in this Three of Swords that someone has control over you. Um, and perhaps maybe this is what you're healing. This is what you want to end. These are your obstacles. And the reason you're not getting any kind of growth is because you hold your, someone's holding you back or you hold yourself back from moving forward, you see. Um, what is the Three of Swords? Wow. What's the Three of Swords? I feel like, what is that? I mean, we did see that you want to leave something that is not healthy. Okay, so you have um, the chariot. You want to break free. You want freedom from this. You want balance. Um, and then you got the nine of pentacles. You want success. Wherever you're stuck right now, because I feel like you're stuck. Um, it, it's like you're not being able to grow. Um, you're definitely, in a sense, worth more than where you have placed yourself. And I think that that is what their realization is, is, is um, you're being receptive, you're seeing the ideas different. Um, maybe you've been told, uh, you know, you're no good, or just really downplayed your, your intellect, intellect, yes, um, to keep yourself in something that was not helping you grow and be prosperous with this Nine of Pentacles something that didn't allow you to be successful. Um, I do feel like this is you reaching and, and taking some sort of action to be successful. Now, this could be where you have had that struggle at work, you know, maybe not so much nice people that you work with or 
people who have tried to steal your projects or something like this, okay? This definitely could be work-related for you. For some of you, I do feel it's work. And for some of you, I feel it's love. So there's definitely a sense of healing from it and moving past. Um, you know, maybe you've been backstabbed, um, not treated right. Um, really, to a point where there's fear here, I feel, to move forward because of this person that has had control of you for such a long time. It's almost that scary feeling of, I don't know if I can do it in a sense, but yet they want they want the freedom with the chariot card. Um, this definitely could be something that they're seeing light of now. Because um, I definitely do feel with the next card, it's about mastering your intuition and, you know, giving yourself a sense of um, rejuvenation and really wisdom, waking up to something, okay? <coughs> sorry. Throat chakra, guys, sorry. Um, card 50. So this is about changing, changing that. Um, what is card 50, the cauldron, which is the chalice, okay? Um, so you got the four of pentacles holding back or you're holding on until you get that, okay? With the, with the um, four of pentacles, it could be where you're holding on because you don't think you're going to have enough or you're not going to get it. But I feel this is a sense of holding back, holding back from what? Let's see here. Let's see what it is. Four of pentacles, please. Four of pentacles. Okay, so you have um, the ten of pentacles and you have the ten of cups. Wow. Are these things holding you back? Or let's see. No, you're wanting this new beginning. You're wanting success in a home. You have the magician here. So the magician is is very much where you want a new beginning, okay? Because I, I will describe this first meaning, but there's also a second meaning that they gave me, but I'll describe this one. So it, it's very much wanting this new beginning. They're both tens, and it's about coming to a full circle in a, in a, in a cycle, but yet you want to start over and you want to have success financially, and you want to have success in love, okay? And that's where you got the number one, the magician, starting over. But as I'm looking here at the Four of Pentacles, I feel it as holding on. I don't feel that you're holding on to something that has already completed a cycle. What I feel is very much that maybe somebody is controlling you in these situations. The person or the place that you met your, your cycle, in other words, it's like, where were you where you completed this cycle and you're stuck on a 10? Is is this person, is it like, is this person, is it time to end that cycle so you can move forward and start something new? That's, I hope that makes sense. It's almost as if, um, like, have you met the end of the rope with somebody? You've, you've completed this cycle and now it's time to start over. Are they manipulating you? Because the, the the magician could be a manipulative card in a sense that you manipulate energy, but it's not good to manipulate other people. You use the magician to 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 work on you, to have your alchemy. Um, but there's a sense of maybe being somewhat controlled by someone else. So let's ask what that magician is, okay? And I only say that because there's a sense of holding on to something. Maybe a marriage. Maybe the person you're married to with the hierophant at the bottom. Um, or maybe just holding on to a big corporation because of the money. Okay. And you already have these things. So it's like you can't go forward because you are you got a house. You got the family. You know. You have to take it as it resonates for you. What is the magician here? Okay. So you're hung up on something. You're, you're, you're somewhat stuck. I feel like you're hung up. Uh, and it could be Six of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. So maybe this is the person that is holding on to you. Um, but I feel with the Hangman, it's a sense of being enlightened. Because the card is talking about inner alchemy and mastering that spiritual level. So there is a sense of becoming powerful right here at this time 
or you're, you're not set free yet, I feel you haven't been set free. That's what the Four of Pentacles is. But yet you already have it in your head. You already have it in somewhere in there. There's an idea that you have to break free and have some form of success with the Six of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, you see. Um, I definitely do feel it's like you seek someone that will give you those values, okay? So, very interesting. Let me see. The hangman could definite, definite be like, a, it could be a, a pause in a situation, taking a break. Maybe you want to take a break from someone. Um, what is, I want to know, what is the Queen of Pentacles? What is the Queen of Pentacles? So, the Queen of Pentacles is the wheel in reverse this is the person that's holding on to you um it, it did come out in reverse and it, it's very much someone holding on to you from making that change you see what is the six of wands six of wands so it's the six of wands and that's what i feel with the four of pentacles there's someone's holding you on but you have the knowledge the inner wisdom to know you've done your cycle and you want something new but what is the six of wands so the three three of wands this hangman this time where you're you're in you're seeking guidance and taking that knowledge in it's really going to prepare you for your future as far as you moving forward and expanding yourself with the three of wands uh, this is also a sense of you've been waiting um, for maybe the right moment, um, maybe dotting all your I's and crossing all your T's t before you make the move, whatever it is. It's almost like you have, I, I could just see you holding back on making your play um, for that right moment. Maybe being strategic, you see. Um, what is the Three of Wands? And I feel this is an ex expectation. I feel like there's something coming in for you. And you're somewhat almost ready to go, okay? What is the Three of Wands? What is the Three of Wands? What is the Three of Wands, please? Okay, there it is. So, the Knight of Wands. You want something passionate. You want, perhaps you already know where you want to go. Um, I feel like you you want to know. I mean, you already know where you want to go. Um, there, there's several females on this card. Um maybe you were picking from different women or maybe you used to be like a player or they were a player to you or something like this there's a sense here of really hunkering down and and just finding that kind of truth as far as who you want to go with um and i feel like whoever this person is or you it, it's almost as if you're you know where to where this choice is going to go like you, I know I, it's weird because I feel like you know where you want to go. Maybe it's because of the Six of Cups here. Um, so maybe there's a return to somebody or maybe just finding that perfect love for you. Okay. Give me just one more for the Calvron. And you might be manifesting this. So Ten of Wands, it's almost like ending some kind of burden. Maybe worrying about it like... That could be you worrying about not having this relationship or worried on how to end a relationship, okay? Um, and the Seven Swords, maybe that's why you're holding back because you don't quite know how to get over that bump. Um, Three of Swords really is uh, shooting out at me today. Maybe there is someone here who is somewhat holding you back from what your truth is, okay? And I think you would know that, okay? So how can I end the story for today? How can I end the story for today? You're ending some kind of, um, it's almost like you have a call to end whatever this is, this worry, this stress, um, a sense of too much overloaded, you know? Maybe you held on to it for a long time and it's ready to, to, to just leave, okay? It is a 10, it is, ending you have three tens ten of wands ten of cups ten of pentacles so new things coming in for you i feel the magician and the lover so see i think you know i think i think this is someone that you already know and 
that's what you're trying to go back to some someone here that's maybe your kindred spirit your your soulmate or your twin flame so i definitely do feel this is where your new beginning is this is where you're manifesting yourself to be okay you got the the world at the bottom and that empress and the knight of wands okay so let's see what else can you show me okay let's see temperance so really being patient really having your faith uh, allowing you to have your faith to know that you can really walk away from anything that's harsh for you um and and really having faith you know balancing you out and it's definitely a mastery of the magician your alchemy which leaves you you know out of this equation of being missing or longing or sad or full of regrets okay give me one for the five of cups what's this regret your emotions you let your emotions take the best of you perhaps um the hierophant so spirituality this could be spirituality this could be maybe um a commitment that you're in that's caused a lot of sorrow uh this also could be you just definitely you know having more inner wisdom and learning from your past okay um, could be a past marriage or maybe a marriage that's soon to be a past marriage because we see the justice card over here uh, so take it as it resonates for you guys okay uh, let's see here what is this karmic cycle that they've been on what is the karmic cycle what is this karmic cycle they've been on please what is their karmic cycle okay so the heart with the key welcoming love meeting um the one open your heart getting together it's very much that being receptive okay so maybe you've healed from something to allow love in um and that's why you're returning to somebody because maybe you're healed already photograph looking at your photos missing you nostalgia making wanting to make new memories i feel okay maybe this is a person who quite wasn't quite ready to be with you because they were not you know they weren't able to balance things out for for them which would cause you to be imbalanced maybe this is their family situation that they've been trying to handle um this definitely could be a marriage that they're ending so you know take it how it resonates for you so soulmates there you have a soul connection with this person um and there's definitely a sense of maybe perhaps having some kind of soul contract that needs to play out okay so the camera is reminiscing keepsakes perception the learning from the past and making memories so maybe somebody taught you something from the past and now in a sense they taught you something in the past you want to bring it into the future as well manifestation okay give me one more one more please i feel like this person had a lot going on the hard hard home life but the four of wands i definitely got it was a hard home life okay um i like you someone likes you romance is blooming fun flirting wanting to date i always feel like that's a love card you know they love you and then let's talk time with friends moving on happily single living in the moment having fun so that's where the chariot comes in freedom a sense of freedom and being out there i think they've been under control for a long time whoever this is okay let's see what's the whispers of love for today what's the whispers of love maybe some of you are coming out of divorce of really controlling divorce you want to go out with your girlfriends right there okay Yeah, it's not good to stay in, uh, you know, abusive relationships. Um, so have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. And that's what Temperance was telling you. And then uh, appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. So it's definitely a lesson. And I do feel like this person is somewhat taking on that leadership role of perhaps getting that nerve to end things for the better i feel okay and where's their new path headed where's their new path headed please where's the new path headed 
Where is it? Where is the new path? Okay. So let's see. This one right here. Passages. Spiritual signs of inclination. You're walking through passages of your transformation. So along this transformation, someone is very much getting signals as far as what to do next. And maybe that's what they're waiting for with that hangman. How do I go? What's the next thing I do? Whether they're preparing to make their move or they've already made their move and they want to know what the next move is. Okay. And then this one right here. Birth. Another gateway appears in view. New life is unfolding with blessings to you. Awesome. That's beautiful, whether it's financial or with your love status. Okay, congratulations. And then this one right here, um, distant kiss and a prayer flag. I wish all, I wish all of all wishes that you were here through sunlight and rain. I need you near. So someone misses you. And I feel you miss them as well. So there you go, guys. I hope you like this reading. Thank you so much for your time. Have a beautiful